everyone has a dream. People sometimes are not committed to their visions. But only a special few have a story. Don't do it for money. Take the risk. Go out on the limb. Just go keep swimming. Keep Welcome to Entrepreneurs Anonymous. It's all about the love, you know. Love is the most important word in the dictionary. But money is right up there with oxygen. Stay tuned. Life is full of possibilities, just waiting to be discovered. At Scotiabank, we believe in possibilities. For over a hundred years, our customers have looked to us to help them uncover what's possible in life, in their finances, and in their future. Because when you believe that anything is possible, anything is. Scotiabank, discover what's possible. If you have a great idea, you need a great domain name. And now it's as easy as ABC. Secure your domain name plus free email, hosting, and a website builder for one low price. What are you waiting for? ABCEasySites.com Everyone has a dream, but only a special few have a story. A story about the journey from idea to enterprise. These special few know about the addiction that causes you to grow to risk, to build, to share. This is their story. Welcome to Entrepreneurs Anonymous. Hello, I am Julie Dash and I am an entrepreneur. I was born in England in 1963. I left England when I was 20 to work on a cruise ship here in the Caribbean. And that's how I first came to Barbados in 1983. Barbados was the second port that I ever visited in the Caribbean and it was immediate for me. Those days I worked 16 or 18 hours a day on a cruise ship seven days a week for nine months and time off was very limited. I remember having two hours off and going in an old fashioned taxi, an old Woolsey to the old Cunard Paradise Beach, had just two hours and I got my towel out, lay under a coconut tree and said, this is where I want to be for the rest of my life. I then went all over the world, but it was something that I knew, I didn't know how, that I would come back to Barbados and it happened. It was about three years later that I came to Barbados on holiday on one of my leaves from the cruise ship. So I was at sea for five years and I came to spend five weeks here. And um, that was just a holiday, which was you know well needed at that time, but I went all over the place, everywhere. And then, I love the people, I love Barbados, and I still have a great love to, for Barbados to today. Well, I have my two children, I have two beautiful daughters, Lily, 22, and Christiane, 20. And I, at that time, I was told that I was not expected to work, and I wasn't sure what I would do, if anything, because I didn't have very much education. I left school when I was 16, and I accumulated 100 cookery books. I learned to cook really, really well. And I set up a catering business on the West Coast. My first job was with Lady Bamford at Heron Bay. She probably doesn't know to today that that was my first ever job. And we did that for about 10 years. Then I had a distribution business here that I ran into a lot of trouble. In 1999, 2000, I was in $500,000 worth of debt half a million dollars for many, many reasons. Too long a story to tell you now. But uh, that was, you know, all brought me to where I am today. It was an incredibly focused time. I was going through a divorce. My children were nine and 11. I absolutely knew that I had to educate them and they had to have less struggles than I had. And I was incredibly focused on the fact that this is not me. This is not where I need to be. And I sold the half a million dollars worth of debt, I sold the company completely for a dollar. And that was an incredible experience. And um, as the company got transferred to its new owners, I found that after a couple of months, I stayed with them on the transfer, but that I didn't have a job. And one of the girls that had worked with me for a long time said to me, well, what are you going to do now? I said, you know, I'm not quite sure. And I remember closing my briefcase and she said to me, well, you've always talked about real estate. I closed my briefcase, walked out and went straight to get a license. 
And that's how Hannah Properties began. I have always been different and done things differently, you know, very much like to have my own way and have it done how I think it should be done. And since I didn't have anybody to tell me how to set up a real estate company in Barbados, there was no manual on it, there was no video, nobody explaining. I decided to do it how I thought it would best be done, which of course was very different to how it was being done. I was the first agent in Barbados to advertise on radio, and I believe that I'm perhaps one of the only agents in the world that does not co-broke, as in share with other agents. I do my work, they do theirs. That caused an awful lot of problems in the beginning. I had no money, I had no education in the business, and it was not easy. In the morning time, I would go out to hotels and teach healthcare and customer service to the hotels. Then I would go back and work with Hannah Properties in the afternoon, and that paid for our initial advertising. So I've always been very driven and very focused. I think focus is extremely important. And so in the beginning, it was very humble beginnings for Hannah Properties. Gregory Ali, who is now our office manager, I left him with the other company and promised that I would go back for him. He had an awful lot of faith in me, and within a few months, I went back for him. But you know, we started at our office in Sheraton Centre with a desk from Tony Tony and Eagle Hall, and a couple of second-hand chairs and a second-hand filing cabinet. We didn't have a computer for many, many weeks, but we hit the ground running largely due to my attention to detail with the media and advertising and knowing that it could be done differently. Scotiabank can help you get your business growing. It all starts with the conversation. Talk to one of our business banking advisors today. Scotiabank. Discover what's possible. Honor, integrity, and passion are at the core of Chivas Regal Scotch Whiskey. These values are also attributes found in the entrepreneurs featured in Entrepreneurs Anonymous. We call them Modern Knights. If you have an entrepreneurial spirit and need help getting your own business started, Chivas would like to hear from you. Email us an outline of your business plan and you could win a grant of $3,000 from Chivas to support your business venture. Are you a modern knight? If you have a great idea, you need a great domain name. And now it's as easy as ABC. Secure your domain name plus free email, hosting, and a website builder for one low price. What are you waiting for? ABCEasySites.com. I'm Julie Dash from Rhinestone Girls Home Renovations. Rhinestone Girls is a company that was born from necessity. It is our intention to offer an incredible standard of service and accountability to our clients. I'm going to take you for a walk around now to have a look at this is one of our first projects for a client and we're doing a full renovation on this property in Marchfield St. Philip. So we're going to take you around to show you exactly what kind of condition it's in now and then throughout this project we will video more and you will see exactly how we're going to proceed and how we move forward to make this a palace. This house is approximately 50 years old and has had very little maintenance during that time. As you can see, she's quite tired and it is going to be a lot of work to get it to where we need it to be fit for a new tenant. So, we've had a look at the outside of the house, now we're going to have a look on the inside. The inside's not quite as pretty as the outside, but let's take a look. Here we are in the bathroom. Now, this is perhaps the worst workable shower I've ever seen in my life, but we're going to rip all this out. This shower was never tiled, never plastered, never even painted. And we're going to knock it all out and make a beautiful bathroom in here. The kitchen. As you can see, there's a lot of work to do in here. We're doing a brand new kitchen, new ceiling, the windows will be taken care of, and a whole new set of cabinetry. Behind me, the windows will be removed and arches will be put in to make the living and dining area bigger. We are now in the gallery. The gallery is going to be opened up into the living and dining area. The windows behind me will move and be replaced with sash windows with Bahamian shutters. All of what you see here has to be knocked down and redone. We're going to be knocking down this porch and these steps and putting a new porch over the back door. We're going to be clearing away all this galvanized and tidying up here. We're going to fence the whole property and then do some landscaping. 
As you can see, an incredible amount of work needs to be done, but I have an excellent team that's been with me for a very long time. This is Elvis Bailey, our general contractor. Elvis is going to be working alongside me to bring this project to completion. So Elvis, where are we going to start from here? What happens tomorrow? The first thing we need to do is clean up around the property and everything, and then we can call in the electrician so you can put the marks on the wall and get one from there. So you can now see the general condition of the property, so we'd better get going. We have a really tight crew on this job, headed by Elvis, and they really do work together as a team. They're putting in long hours, they're working seven days a week, and it really is incredible to see the progress that can be made when the effort and the passion is put into the job. They're very keen on pleasing me, and um, that is very, very important that everybody on Friday feels better, that they can all have a beer and know that they did an incredible job. I just feel so proud of them, and you know, the way it is now, I'm feeling like I could build a skyscraper with these guys. Almost complete. Tell me how you feel about the experience. Well, I feel good about the experience. We had some ups and downs, I think, but we get over that. So as you can see, we are the finishing stage right now, and I can't wait to see it and use it. Are you ready for the next job? Definitely. Let's go and take a look at the interior. Business Tips, brought to you by the Small Business Unit of the Ministry of Industry, Small Business and Rural Development. Forget about fancy offices, fast cars, and expense accounts. Your wallet is your company's lifeblood. Practice and perfect the art of being frugal. Watch every dollar and triple check every expense. Maintain a low overhead and manage your cash flow effectively. Life is full of possibilities, just waiting to be discovered. At Scotiabank, we believe in possibilities. For over a hundred years, our customers have looked to us to help them uncover what's possible in life, in their finances, and in their future. Because when you believe that anything is possible, anything is. Scotiabank, discover what's possible. Hi, my name is Danny Fenty, the owner of and creative director at Vivid Gear Studios. We are a design studio dedicated to producing quality, affordable, cutting-edge creative solutions for your productions. Amongst our other services, we produce high-end motion design, music, and 2D animation that will surely engage your target audience. But ask any entrepreneur. Starting your own business is not the easiest task in the world. It takes hard work, lots of time, and a whole lot of patience, not to mention risk. That's why we support Entrepreneurs Anonymous, a support network for entrepreneurs by entrepreneurs. A place, a haven, where we can share our experiences, provide solutions, as well as give and receive encouragement. It is an ideal place for any entrepreneur, no matter how young or how old. Entrepreneurship is an addiction, and let's face it, we need our circle. If you have a great idea, you need a great domain name. And now it's as easy as ABC. Secure your domain name plus free email, hosting, and a website builder for one low price. What are you waiting for? ABCEasySites.com So I say, let's plan our vacation and suddenly everyone's on liat.com. My wife announces shailliat.com, a nice hotel near restaurants and shopping malls. Hmm must hide credit card. The kids want to liat.com fun activities and since someone has to be the sensible one, I'll liat.com flights or travel insurance and a car. Well, sort of sensible. <laughs> liat.com, what else do you need? When I 
hear the word entrepreneur, the words that would come to mind would be discipline, persistence. I believe that persistence beats ability anytime and self-motivation. I am extremely disciplined, extremely focused and fabulous. I'm passionate about my children, my gorgeous daughters. I'm passionate about my business. I'm extremely passionate about Barbados itself. I'm passionate about a lot of things. Well, Lily will tell you that I made her work from when she was 10, but she says when she has her children, they'll work from eight because it did her an enormous amount of good. The children, I was with them all the time. Lily was doing letters from Han for Hannah Properties from when she was 10, helping to write letters for me and doing all she could. She was out there from 16, as soon as she could drive on the road. And I was very close to them. I took them to school every morning. I picked them up every evening, but it was work, work, work in between, seven days a week. And it was constant, but they knew why I was doing it. You know, I was doing it for them because I wanted a better life for them. I understood that I had no education whatsoever, but they had to have. And so I don't believe that they suffered by it. They understand that it's not easy. And they understand what it took. And now Lily is very protective of the business and any outside influences that might want to disturb them. I usually get up about half past four in the morning. I'm very big on exercise. I have a rebounder and I rebound for 10 minutes first thing drink a lot of water and then I get on the computer. Then I, by eight o'clock, will start on the telephone. I work all morning, usually in the office, dealing with telephone calls. I never ever turn my phone off, so te telephone calls can be any time, 24 hour period, respecting that overseas clients might want me at any time and don't want me to answer the phone as if I'm asleep. So the, these very basic disciplines. Um, then I go to the gym, I do two hours in the gym at around noon, come back, then go out on the road and do all of my appointments. Then I come back and cook for my girls every day. I make sure that they're careful, but by 7.30, don't really look for me because it's, probably, it's usually all over by then. I think my aha moment was when I sold that company for half, that was in debt for half a million dollars and I sold it for a dollar and I was free again. I learned that it was easier to sell a piece of real estate than it, than it was to sell a bottle of rum. I was that the distribution sold everything from corn beef to condoms, 450 items in between. So I realised that you know it's it, it's just how how you prepare to open your mind and you can have anything you want in the world as long as you want it bad enough and as long as you focus on it hard enough. You, there really are no limitations. The only limitations you have are the limitations that you place upon yourself. If you like this show, share it with your friends. Watch your favorite shows on demand and in HD on Trident10.tv. Planning a business function, vacation getaway, or conference in Barbados? Visit the all-inclusive Island Inn Hotel, located within the Garrison Historic UNESCO Heritage Site and steps away from the capital Bridgetown. Let us amaze you with our simplicity, old world charm, and a true Bajan experience. Island Inn Hotel, Barbados. Let your Caribbean dreams come true. Honor, integrity, and passion are at the core of Chivas Regal Scotch Whiskey. These values are also attributes found in the entrepreneurs featured in Entrepreneurs Anonymous. We call them Modern Knights. If you have an entrepreneurial spirit and need help getting your own business started, Chivas would like to hear from you. Email us an outline of your business plan and you could win a grant of $3,000 from Chivas to support your business venture. Are you a modern knight? That was incredibly important, both of them incredibly supportive. I don't have any family here, my mother lives in St Lucia and my sister lives in Antigua, so support from afar is not the same as support on the ground here. I have an incredibly good friend, her name is Rose Edgehill, she used to be a nurse. She's Bob and living very close to me and um, she's been incredibly supportive throughout. But I have um, 
a lot of support from different business people. Andrew Bynum from Carlton in Emerald City is a really close friend and a mentor, someone I've been able to ask questions to, to guide me in the right direction. Before I do anything major, I would always ask him and he would tell me yes or no. He's an incredible person. I was a customer at Emerald City and then I, when I got the real estate business, he gave me a job uh, to sell a property in St. Michael and the relationship developed from there. Mentorship is incredibly important to have people that you can look up to, to have people that you can ask a question to. The people you surround yourself with is of immense importance. Success. Success, first of all, obviously it's financial for one thing, but it's peace of mind and freedom and the ability to call your own shots and to be able to provide for those that you love and about contribution. I'm very big on contribution. Bobby has been enormously kind to me and I'm very aware that you must give back. So many people in life just take, take, take and never give. And I understand that um, the pleasure is truly in the giving and the love is in the giving. I am Vice Chairman of Crime Stoppers Bobby for the last three and a half years, which is an incredibly important charity, the way the world is going. It's not only Barbados that's having difficulties with crime, it is a global problem. Crime Stoppers is in 24 countries of the world for the last 30 years and I'm very proud of being a founder member of that and for all the successes it's had so far here in Barbados and that we can go on to help other countries. We're now setting up, helping to set up St Lucia, Dominica and St Kitts which are very much in need of that programme. Well, as you can imagine, the Crime Stoppers work is pretty serious. It's not exactly a laugh a minute, but the charities with the children, we do an island safari for 45. I like to call them special children because some may be disadvantaged, some may be superstars in their own parish, do good things in school and in their communities. Um, so we do that every year, a fantastic team with Red Plastic Bag, Mac Fingal, Morris Norville and the Waffler's Patrick Gollop. And we do that every year for the last four years. And at Christmas time, we take 35 people aged over 65 who live alone on a magical island safari. We have fantastic sponsorship. Hanshalinis this year gave everyone a ham and turkey and a bottle of rum and the prizes and the gifts go on from there. And it's all about the love, you know. Love is the most important word in the dictionary. But money is right up there with oxygen because without it, you don't realise how important money is until the day you don't have any. BMW Keys to Success, powered by McInerney Quality Incorporated. My keys to success will be hard work, seriously hard work, focus, to be aware, to live in the now is very important. You've got to be focused and self-discipline. Be bold and mighty forces will come to your aid. Fortune favors the bold. Complete focus, get out there, work hard, do what you've got to do, as I did, to work somewhere else to raise the money to fund your project. Scotiabank can help you get your business growing. It all starts with a conversation. Talk to one of our business banking advisors today. Scotiabank. Discover what's possible. Honor, integrity, and passion are at the core of Chivas Regal Scotch Whiskey. These values are also attributes found in the entrepreneurs featured in Entrepreneurs Anonymous. We call them Modern Knights. If you have an entrepreneurial spirit and need help getting your own business started, Chivas would like to hear from you. Email us an outline of your business plan and you could win a grant of $3,000 from Chivas to support your business venture. Are you a modern knight? If you have a great idea, you need a great domain name. And now it's as easy as ABC. Secure your domain name plus free email, hosting, and a website builder for one low price. What are you waiting for? ABCEasySites.com So I say, let's plan our vacation and suddenly everyone's on Liat.com. My wife announces Shailiat.com, a nice hotel near restaurants and shopping malls. Hmm. 
must hide credit card. The kids want to liat.com fun activities and since someone has to be the sensible one, I'll liat.com flights, our travel insurance and a car. Well, sort of sensible. <laughs> liat.com, what else do you need? If you like this show, share it with your friends. Watch your favorite shows on demand and in HD on Trident10.tv. I tend to keep my personal life very personal. The amount of work that we do is we work seven days a week. When I'm here in Barbados, it's complete focus, it's complete attention on the customer, that our company is very driven by helping people. Have an extremely good team here, Dean Worrell, um, the attorney, works for me on a daily basis and we help a lot of people, uh, people who have problems in real estate, you know, real estate is connected to life in a big way. People are born, people die, people get married, people get divorced and there are many problems for people. Many people that come to me are coming with a problem or with a sadness. Um, we do a lot of charitable work within hand properties, especially now where we're seeing people go underwater with mortgages where they bought properties in 2006, 2009, and now for whatever reason have to sell them and they're not going to get the money back. The properties will have to go and they'll still end up with a bill for the bank. Many people who lost their title deeds who were um, land rich and cash poor, leading have worked on some matters over eight years to bring people to a conclusion. The giving back is extremely important to me. I really truly understand that that's where the real love comes from. I believe that companies should have a strong name. If you're wanting that company to succeed long past after you've gone, Hannah was my great grandmother from very humble beginnings. And uh, she's an extremely strong woman, an incredible woman through very hard war times. And um, that's, I wanted a name with strength. She represented that to me, and um, I'm very pleased that I chose that. We work from the crane in St. Philip. We actually still work from home. We make a lot of noise, but we are in still one small company. In these days of global times, we don't really need any top show. I'm not sure that huge office buildings are necessary. Um, my children in the beginning were very upset with me for moving from the West Coast to home. She said, Mummy, people think we have no money left. But by then, it really didn't matter what people thought about that because it makes us quicker, efficient, more efficient, stronger. And so, you know, with everything, it's to downsize and not to worry what other people think, except the customer. As long as the customer is comfortable and the customer is getting an extreme standard of service, standards are extremely important. But I think it's the standards you set for yourself are what drives you to the heights that you will reach. The world will pay the price that you put upon yourself and that you have no limitations except for yourself.